Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I just wanted to share another journal listing with you guys. I'm gonna be putting it in my Etsy shop. Um, this is a Victorian vintage style journal. And it was originally a custom order um, for one of my daughter's friends. And she had um, something come up and she wasn't able to purchase the journal. And that was hmm, back in October, I think. So I've contacted her and um, I haven't heard back from her. So I'm just going to go ahead and list it. Hopefully if she sees it, then, you know, then she can go ahead and jump on there and get it. But um, anyway, I just, I need to get it out of the way. <laughs> I've been holding it for a long time, so it's got to go. So we'll just get started. Um, hopefully the lighting's okay. It's, I don't know. Anyway, um, I just have it um, wrapped with this pretty lace. Um and tied in a bow as the closure. And then I have lace on the spine here. Um, I love this lace, it's some of my favorite lace. And then of course it has a dangle um, with just pretty beads. And I don't know if you can, I'm trying to hold that up. I don't think the video is gonna do those justice because they're super cute, but anyways. And then on the back, we have a little pocket and it's just got, um, a little em embossed tag in that pocket on the back so we'll just go on inside and take a peek as you can see there's lots and lots of little frillies poking up out of the top um, she wanted this kind of purple um, so it has a lot of purple in it and she also wanted her this was she ordered this for her sister and I may already have a video of this I don't know but I just wanted to do another one just to make sure. But um, her sister was in college in Chicago for art. And so I incorporated some things to that nature in here as well. So um, on the front cover, you just have a, a pocket, a sewn pocket from a, a book page. And then I have, it's actually a double pocket. So I've got a couple of tags, one in each pocket. So we're just going to do a quick flip through. This is a belly band and it has a little extra little book in it with coffee dyed paper. Most of the paper in this book is coffee dyed. And then I just put another little journal and tag in there. That is from a vintage book page or a vintage book about flowers. Um, let's see, this is a tuck. Got a cute little paper clip here. And some of the coffee stained paper has the doily image on it. You'll see a lot of the pages have the crocheted lace and crocheted lace tabs. This one is a tuck. I forgot how much I love this paper and it's been a long time since I've looked at this book so you guys will have to bear with me. This is um, from that Helen Steiner Ross book that I have, and I just thought the purple went perfectly. This is another pocket, um, and it has just um, index card and a couple of, that's an embossed tag, and then a journaling tag. And then these, I believe, are from, I think, Tsunami Rose. Some coffee dyed old dictionary paper, lined paper, and that's a tuck as well. Another tab, coffee dyed lined paper, tracing paper. Here's just a corner tuck um, with one of my scrappy tags and then another journaling tag. Another one of those sewn book page pockets with a couple of embossed tags. It's a double pocket as well, and so in the back you have another pretty little tag, and then this pretty little tag with the butterfly on it. I really like this book. I've forgotten about this book. It's just been sitting on a shelf forever. It's a belly band with one of my scrappy tags, and then this just folds out um, as extra journaling paper. 
I actually had forgotten about having this book until I was trying to make room for more books and it was in the way. <laughs> okay. So here's another tuck. And then this is just an envelope that's clipped on. It's got the um, uh, Crafty Irina paper clip. And then just a little piece for journaling. And then inside the envelope is another extra piece for journaling as well. I love these paper clips. They're super cute. This is from a vintage book called Grasshopper on the Road. I just did um, another book that has some of these pages. Um, and it actually has the cover to this book. So it's on my Etsy shop as well. So you can take a look at that. There's a tuck, and it's just got a little journaling card from, I think that's from Prima. This is just a bag. Um, it's empty. This is a little tuck, and it has just a journaling card and a guest check. Um, this is like a, um, it's a pocket. <laughs> There's a word for it, but I can't think of it, so... There's one of my scrappy tags. It's a double double pocket type deal. And um, so, but you know. And it's got some pearls on it. This is just a belly band with one of my scrappy flowers. And just some extra coffee dyed paper for journaling. Tucked in there. Some lined paper with another paper clip. There's a tuck spot. Another tuck spot. I try to flip through pretty quickly now. Tuck spot. More coffee dyed dictionary paper. And this is vintage, a vintage dictionary. This is um, another page from that Language of Flowers book. And this is the center of the signature, and that's where the um, the beads are that hang over the spine. So you can either, if they get in your way, you can put them down this way, or you can flip them up this way to be a dangle. So either way you want, and there's tucks on each side of those pages. Another paper clip, and then a little corner pocket with a guest check, and another one of my little scrappy tags. Lined paper. And there's another tuck with a paper clip. This is a bookmark that I've added into the book, so it has a little dangle. I don't know if you can see that well. I don't know. For some reason, my lighting is horrible today. It's cloudy and gloomy outside, so I apologize. Let me see if I can get you a little more light. Let's just do it this way. So anyway, that is the little bead dangle on the bottom that I made for the book. Another paper clip. And then this is a little belly band that has another one of those little extra booklets with just some coffee dyed paper scraps just slides down in there this is just a fold out with extra journaling and then it just tucks under the little butterfly's wings and you can use it as a belly band too so you can tuck something in there here's a pocket with a couple of embossed tags and then just a little journaling card as well the other end of the bag and another tuck spot. The other side of that grasshopper on the road book page. And as you can tell, it is a very fragile book, so you have to be careful with it. But it's beautiful. The images are, are gorgeous in that book. Tuck spot. Another pocket. Just got some extra coffee dyed paper, a guest check, and another embossed tag down in there. Same here, I left this pocket open 
make it a little easier access. Just a couple of tags in there. Love, love, love how this ripped, so I left it. Um, I just left it the way it was because I really liked it. And there's an embossed tag. Another one of my scrappy tags. And then just a plain journaling card. More tracing paper. More coffee dyed lined paper. Regular lined paper. More paper clips. More dictionary paper. There's another tuck and another tab. This is a belly band and it, this is the other piece of that that ripped. And it's just got, I just folded it up and I left the ripped look because I like it. The images in this book are just absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you can see them really well. Sorry, there's a glare. I'm just trying to move it around so there's not a glare. But anyway, they're really, really pretty. There's another tuck. Another tuck there. Uh, another one of, of the pages from that um, flower book. This is a little pocket and um, one of my handmade flowers with extra journaling. Um, coffee dyed paper for journaling and a couple of tags. Let's see what these tags are. Like I say, it's been a long time since I've looked at this book. Oh, that one's so pretty. It's one of my faves. And that is the end of the book. And I love, love, love this paper at the end. It's just very, very pretty. So, there is the Vintage Victorian Journal. If you like it, head on over to my Etsy shop and check it out. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Tap the little bell if you want notifications of my videos. And thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.